Hello and welcome back to another Waypoint book episode. This is a bonus one. There was only going to be three, but Gal Sergi showed me how to make an improved version. Here it is, Improved Waypoint Book by Gal Sergi. This is a really nice version, so I had to show you. So we need some objectives. Now the idea of this book is as the players unlock places, they do actually change colour in the book, which is really nice. Uh, we're not checking NBT data, we're only using triggers, so it should work on servers. You shouldn't have a problem with, with uh, players having to be op. It's, it's just, it's great. It's a great version. <laughs> so much better than I made last time. So we're going to create some objectives. We've got three, well two actually we need. Um, add, uh, I call this one telly, telly to the waypoint. This one's going to be a trigger. Done. Let's make that one now. Scoreboard, players, enable for everyone. Um, and what do we call it? Telly waypoint. Telly waypoint. Let's just check we've got the name right. Tell you waypoint trigger, yeah. And the last one, scoreboard, objectives, add, update, book. And that's going to be a dummy. Okay. Right, next, we need to set up a storage array for data. Set up storage. Okay, here we're going to store our master data. Data, merge, into storage. Let's give it a name. I call it Waypoint Destinations. And this is going to be our master list. Okay. Uh, apostrophe, apostrophe. Inside there we have curly brackets. Inside there we have speech marks, speech marks, colon, speech marks, speech marks. I want four elements. So I'm going to copy all of that. Control copy. And put a comma, paste, comma, paste, comma, paste. Okay. And I tell you what, actually, the first one we're going to leave blank. So we're just going to do text. Wrong button. And leave it blank with a little space there. And the next three we can actually give a color to. Color, dark green. So let's copy that bit. Find the next set of speech marks. There they are. Put a color dark green after that one. Find the next set. Put a color dark green after that one. Okay, this one is going to be text. Um, the mines. This one is going to be text. Uh, the, the wizard's tower, and this one will be text. The shop. Done. Okay, we've made we've made a, an array of data, and we've saved it into a storage point, which we've called Waypoint Destinations Master. Okay, let's make a controller. And this is going to be our update book controller. Update book controller. Uh, actually, it's going to be repeating. So we'll pop a little lever on top of that one. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I am going to clear from all players. Scores equal update book equals one. written book and I'm going to give a custom tag to my written book so um, let's let's use that otherwise we're just going to clear all books uh, what custom tags we call it let's call it waypoint book <laughs> there we go so that will clear the waypoint book if we haven't got one it won't clear one if we have got one it will clear it and then we're going to make this one conditional. And we're going to set up uh, another array. Data merge 
storage waypoint destinations but last time we used master this time we're going to use current new array okay and let's get the two apostrophes the curly brackets speech mark speech else colon speech mark speech marks okay and i am going to have this first one we had blank and I'm going to copy all of that. Whoop. Control copy. And if this is the blank one, we don't actually need the second set because we don't care about the color. So let's just remove this second set of speech marks. And now let's go after this apostrophe here and paste one in. Now we need a comma between them. Otherwise it gets confused. So text, our first one was shop color gray okay let's do another one paste text the wizard's tower color gray and the last one comma text the dwarven mines color gray Okay, so this is very similar to the first one. The master one, we have all the colors in green. And in this one, which is called current, we have all the colors in gray. That's the only difference so far. Done. And we've made that conditional. Let's put this in here. And now we are going to check which players have been to different places. So first of all, let's check that they are updating their book. So they are updating their book and they'll say, have you got the tag for shop? Basically, have you been to the shop? So when they go to the shop, we'll give them this tag. So if they have, we will run data modify storage waypoint destinations and our current one. So current is the one we set it all to gray. So but if they've been to the shop, we are going to change number one. And we're going to set from storage waypoint destinations master one. So the difference was current current one is grey, master one is green. So if they've been to the shop, we are going to set that to green. We're overwriting the grey one. I'm going to shift home and control copy all of that. One, two. Paste one in there. Number two. Number two. If they've been to the tower done there you can probably guess this one paste it in number three number three if they've been to the dwarven mines done okay remove the book create uh, it's an array with all grayed out words in it check if they've been to the places if they have been to the places replace the gray words with the green ones from the master next we got to give them a book because we stole their book so they need one back give at player oops scores equals update book equals one so they're updating their book and uh, what are we going to give them? We're going to give them a written book with some data in it. First thing we have to do is make sure it's got the same tag. Waypoint book, I think we called it. True. And let's give it a title. Title. Uh, waypoints. Then after the waypoints, let's give it an author. Should be Gal Sergi really since he came up with it, but we'll say Bob the Traveller. And then after the author, we are going to want pages. Pages is an array. Okay. Inside the array. Two apostrophes. Inside there, we are going to have two speech marks. Inside those speech marks, we will have the first words on top of the page. This will be the title. 
waypoints. Now I want the next piece of writing to be two lines down. So I'm going to need to put in a line down. So now it'll be one underneath and I'd like another line as well. Two underneath. Okay. And then after that, we're going to put in uh, the storage data. So this is a little bit uh, more complicated. So I have one set of speech marks, speech marks, colon, speech marks, speech marks, and we're going to say storage. Okay, what storage? From waypoint destinations. Let's make sure we spell it right. Destinations, yes. Now after that, what do we want? We want NBT. And we want the MBT not from the master, we want it from the current one. So this is going to say from the current array, so it's all going to be grey. And then remember we overwrote if they had the tag. Now after that one, we're going to put a separator. Now what the separator does, after it puts each element in, it will add the separator. Separator. And my separator is going to be the line break again. So each element will be on the next line rather than all just chunked on next to each other. And after that, we are going to say, let me just show you what we've got there. Interpret true. Okay, done. That's probably the hardest command in here. And then I'm going to add another one. Tell raw at all players scores equals update book equals one. So all players who are updating their book, let's put some information in here. It's not happy because it likes to it likes to know what it's doing. Well, it's going to be a text. There we go. Now it's happy. Um, your oh, I think that should be a capital. Your waypoint book has been updated. Let's grab their attention. Color red. Okay, done. And last thing scoreboard players reset all players tele waypoint. Done. Okay. Oof. So if we have an update book score of one, we will have a book taken away if we have one. Then we will create an array filled with all gray words. Then we will one, two, three, overwrite the gray words with the green words from the master array. If we've been to the location, then we will give the player a book with the updated array inside it. Then we will tell them their book's been updated and then we will remove. Ooh, look at that. Lucky we check, isn't it? Update book. Then we'll remove update book from them because they're not updating their book anymore. It's been updated. Okay. Next. Let's turn that on. Here we go. Pop you down there. Uh, you will be, this is going to be what we run when we go to one of the waypoints for the first time. We will execute as the nearest player. And let's say they have to be, they have to be near the thing as well. So between zero and eight. As the nearest player, distance equals zero to eight. Store. Distance equals zero to eight. Store success as a score at S. Update book. Okay, so 
if the next bit we're going to type is successful, we'll put a 1 into update book. And if it's not successful, we'd put a 0 into update book. So we are going to store in there, we are going to run tag at s add shop. So we're going to try and add the tag shop to them. And then we're going to store the success of that command into update book. So that will change our update book to 1. And if our update book changes to 1, we should then be targeted by these commands. So let's say um, tag shop. Let's see what happens if we press it. Our waypoint book has been updated. We've got a book. Oh, that's very exciting. No waypoints are listed though. Okay, we've obviously made a mistake somewhere. Let's have a look. The most likely one is going to be in here. But I'm never sure. Waypoint book true, title, yes. So let's check all of those things are correct. Title, waypoints, Bob the Traveler. Yeah. That's uh, data get, data fed, data get, entity, nearest player, selected item, game rule, send command feedback true. Let's run that command again. We've got a written book and it's got z zero page information in it. Okay, so we must have made a mistake in there. We can see, can we zoom in a bit further here? Let's selected item dot pages. No. Selected item. Ah, selected item pages is inside tag. So selected item tag dot pages. There we go. So there's not much text there at all. So all of this bit has not gone in. Now let's have a quick look through and see if we can spot what's wrong. Okay, well, yes, I can. Here, there should be one of those there. And let's check the end. Okay, there should be one there as well. Looks like we were missing a little list of things. Now I don't have my score updated, so let's just scoreboard players uh, set me update book. Let's force an update. My book's been updated. Wow, look at that. Okay. So now I know that's going to be a bit confusing, that little fix we just did there. Uh, but the commands will be in the description, so you can look in the description to make sure you get, get this command correct. So we've been to the shop, so shop is green. So it's successfully overridden that one. Okay, let's let's throw our book on the floor. That's not what I meant to do. Let's copy this, and we'll put one, two more down. And we'll tag, we'll tag with the wizard's tower. And we'll tag with the Dwarven Mines. Let's put a bit on there, a bit on there. Okay. So we should just have to change that to Tower. Boink. And we just change that to Mines. Okay. So let's see. Tag at P remove. Okay, I've still got one of the tags from the old video. Let's get rid of that one. And I've got the shop tag. Okay, so I don't have mines or tower. I look in my book and only shop is green. So let's go to the mines. We've gone to the mines. Our book has been updated. Let's have a look. And now mines is green as well and tower isn't. Okay, let's do tower. New book. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Let's make a little reset because that's going to get annoying to keep having to type everything every time. Tag that player, remove shop. Done. And let's copy that. One, two. 
always active chain remove tower always active chain remove lines and put one on the end scoreboard players uh, set nearest player update book to one okay so now I'm going to lose all three tags and then it's going to update the book at the moment I can go anywhere let's put that down let's just call this uh, reset will do now <clears throat> remove the tags update the book so they should all fingers crossed have gone gray again because I can't go anywhere okay now let's get three destinations one two three let's get a nice piece of green wool for each one point 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 and we're going to do the first one fill tab 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 okay that's the shop <clears throat> now the way we're going to do this is we need to add a click event um, so when we click on the, the green one I don't have any green but when I click on a green one we need a click event that's going to teleport us to this point but we're going to do it as a trigger so into the master storage we will go to the first shop here is shop so starts here open the curly brackets text shop color dark green and that's where it ends so after color dark green we are going to want to add a click event okay so let's add that speech marks speech marks colon open and close curly brackets there we go so this is going to be I'll tell you what we'll do I will copy that comma and all of that copy click event uh, okay what is the click event well it's going to be an action oh what is the action okay the action well we're going to run a command okay going to run a command what's the value of that command well the value of that command is going to be and this is where we use our trigger trigger tele waypoint set one okay yep that looks good now let's go to tower after color dark green paste in that little bit again it's going to be a click event it's going to be an action what's the action we're going to run a command what's the value of the command we are going to trigger tele waypoint set to two okay next one after green in the mines it's going to be a click event <laughs> we're going to take an action what action we're going to take we're going to run a command what is the value of that command trigger tele waypoint set three okay let's have a quick look T trigger tele waypoint set three this one should be set two trigger tele waypoint set two yeah and the last one should be set one okay done press that button to update the master storage now when we copy over if we have the tag and we copy over the green text it should also copy over the the uh, the click event as well but how do we know is if it works waypoint books been updated tower nothing happened nothing happened now it should close the book if I click on shop. Ah, tell you waypoint set to one. That's pretty handy, it's telling us. Okay. 
the others don't work. Let's try the mines. This cannot, you cannot trigger this objective yet. You need to enable triggers each time afterwards. Okay, let's just grab this, pop you, stop it, pop you down there. And this will be our trigger controller. And for the moment, I'm just going to copy this command over here. I am just going to keep enabling the waypoint system or the waypoint trigger for people. Okay, let's clear out the inventory. And I need to get a new book. Now I can only get a book by updating my score. So I can reset because that's got an update score at the end. There we go. I can't. Well, it looks like I could go places for some reason. Shop, one, mines, three, tower, can't go to. But this is now running, so the waypoint keeps, the trigger keeps getting reset. Okay, and how about tower? There we go. Let's remove, can't go anywhere. Okay. Now I can go to the shop. Trigger one. Yes. Okay. Now let's set up this little detector here properly. So we've got three places we can go to. One, two, three. And then we will want to enable the waypoint and reset the waypoint. Okay. So let's start at this end. We'll just do scoreboard players enable for all players. Tell you waypoint. Done. This one will be scoreboard players reset for all players. Tell you waypoint. Done. And here we will change this to teleport all players scores equals. Tell your waypoint equals one. I can't remember what the number was. We might have overwritten it, so let's get it again. Fill, fill, fill. And put that in there. And then we're just going to copy all of that. Copy. Done. What's that way? Positive Z. So plus two on the positive Z. So if it equals two, that will be 14. And then plus two, plus one, two, three, four on the positive Z. So if it equals three, 16, done. Now I am being permanently teleported. Okay, why are we being permanently teleported? Because this block is pointing up, <laughs> not into these blocks. So this is never being, these two are never being run and my trigger's never being reset. Okay, let's turn that off. Copy that. Get one of those. Copy that. There we go. Sometimes it's just the silly mistakes. Right, now it's being reset. Let's try our book. Shop. Yes. I haven't been to the tower yet. Okay, we go to the tower. We explore. Now we can go to the tower. Tower. Yes, the middle one. Mines should be that one. Let's go back to the shop just to check. Yep. Let's add mines. Should be there. Oh, we can go to the mines. We can go to the tower. We go to the shop. And there's always the chance that they might lose a tag. Tag at nearest player. Remove. Uh, shop. Maybe the shop's closed. The shop is closed. You're not allowed to go to the shop. Remove. But if you do remove the tag, you also will have to remember to set there, update book score to one, boom. So it updates the book as well. Otherwise they'll still have the old book. There we go. Now the shop is closed at the moment. Okay. Let's open the shop. Tag, <laughs> add shop. Shop is now open, update their book. And they can go back to the shop. Okay, this is really nice. 
Let's do a full reset. Now, one thing about this is it's showing, it might, it might give away clues what people are going to come across. Oh, there's going to be a tower later. Oh, there's going to be mines later. That's okay. We can change that. So here's our master. If they've been, this is where we store the sort of they've been there commands. So we want to change the current one, which we set in here. And what we can do is we can just change that from mines to unknown or maybe unexplored. Let's just set them all to unknown. Unknown. Can I spell today? I can never spell. Why am I asking? Okay, here we go. Unknown. Okay, we've changed all to unknown. Let's do that. Player starts the map. And they get a book. Your waypoint book has been updated. Oh, thank you. Oh, what's inside? Hey. Hey. There we go. <laughs> unknown, unknown, unknown. Now I don't know what's coming in the story. There's no giveaway. I've gone to the shop. I've been tagged with shop. I've, now I've got shop. Unknown, unknown. Yeah, let's go to the tower. No, let's go to the dwarven mines. Now we can go to the mines. We've still got one unknown. There's still one place I haven't found. What could it be? Yes, it's the wizard's tower. And we can teleport between them um, and it's individual for each person because uh, if they don't have the tag their book's not going to get updated this is a uh, this is it a much much nicer version uh, we're using a trigger and the only commands the players are running are triggers so they don't need to be opt that's no problem there uh, we're not checking I don't think we're checking any NPT data. No, NPT data of the player. We're only checking some tags and we're checking some scores. So this version, thank you to Gal Sergi for making this, uh, is so much better. This is the version I would be using anytime I want to make a waypoint book. Okay, I think that's it. I think we're done. I'm sure I must have made mistakes somewhere. I'm going to watch the video back and then get annoyed because I find I've made a mistake and I'll have to redo it. Anyway, I'll see you next time. You take care. Bye-bye.